So I'm working on this track, which is a really kind of quite moody, fairly dramatic track um, with a nice chord progression. And I've added some guitar, so which is like a spark, I've called it sparkly high guitar. This is the part as it sounds. Using a Fender Jaguar through the plug and mix amp modeler, which I really like. It's got a nice subtle drive to it. It's really simple to use, you know, basic EQ and drive. So I really prefer it a bit more character than the Logic amp, which I think is still pretty cool. So yeah, the idea of this was to make a th very 3D wide guitar. I thought I'd show you this trick that I use, which is quite a popular trick to kind of get guitar and synths and sounds like that to feel like they're coming from around you rather than from a single point. The main trick is using Logic's sample delay. It creates a delay difference between the left and right channel. So you load up the um, sample delay, so you click on milliseconds on the right here, then you just change one of these. And if I turn it off you'll, and then turn it on again you'll hear the difference. That's just dry guitar with a little bit of gain. Turning this back on. That subtle delay between the left and right channel is it, it's tiny, it's 15.3 milliseconds. You know, anywhere between sort of 15 and 20 milliseconds is going to be the desired effect, really. And it creates an illusion called the Haas effect, H A A S, which is where the ears perceive sounds coming from around you and or different places in the in the stereo field based on the the ears hearing things at different times. So the left ear will hear something um, that's coming from a certain position at a different time than the right ear. So this is just creating that illusion. So yeah, if that's it with on, with it on. And that's it without. And I've also added Sound Toys Micro Shift with a very subtle amount of um, stereo widening happening with a, with a detuning effect. So it's like a chorus. And that's finally going into Logic's compressor, just doing a little bit of subtle compression uh, on the transients. It's, it's really simple and it's one of my favourites. So that's it, a very simple little trick using the sample delay, which is, shows underneath the delay and then sample delay. It really helps to create a, a guitar that's, or, or you know, a synthesizer or even a vocal really, or percussion sounds it's good for. Anytime you want to make a sound feel like it's coming from kind of around you in 3D rather than specific points. Hope that helps. Bye.